I want to start this video off with saying thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks for getting this channel up and running. And thanks for everyone that's getting the great comments and giving feedback on my channel. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys personally, all in all. And uh, yeah, last few races were, were great. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the videos coming up. So question of the day is, can you run slowly all the time? And then in your races, run really, really fast. It is, don't die. Easy warm up. Like five minutes of care or something. So hey guys, Richard Murray here and this episode is all about slow running. And before we get to the slow running part and how to run slow and why you should run slow, I'm just gonna put this little dead cat on top here so you guys can hear me a little bit better. There we go, hopefully that's a little bit better. To start with uh, slow running and why slow running can really help and really benefit you from, you know, to, to actually pick up speed and to actually get faster. Just in general, um, for your park run or for some Strava segments or for whatever happens to be your vibe, Currently, how can you how you can go about doing that and how you can implement that in your daily running every single day? So here's uh, my heart rate file and my polar flow uh, from February 2020. Uh, this was a much easier year compared to others uh, to, do, to do with speed work. And uh, you can see my total distance per run of duration was 40 minutes and it was about 290 k's of running in February. Um, my average was about five minutes a kilometer, you can see on the side here. And uh, yeah, my heart rate was about 130 to 135 average. Uh, I was at altitude in Namibia, so the heart rate was definitely higher a little bit than usual because it's at about uh, 1800 meters of elevation or 6000 feet. And uh, yeah, you can see my total running here in zone two and zone three is kind of around about the 80 percent or 80 percent easy and 20 percent hard rule and uh, we were at altitude so didn't have any speed work yet for this time of the year. So first of all I'm kind of going to start with my experience uh, as a runner when I started so uh, I started running when I was about six or seven years old and I only knew one speed and that was all out you know full gas from the start uh, every single run and uh, you I kind of wanted to get that feeling of I'm running really fast and I'm really doing something with my run every single day. And I've got a kind of feeling that I think a lot of people have that same perception of how you can become a fast runner is you have to run fast every day. And that is completely not the case. That is completely something that I think the whole world thinks is like the norm to run, you know, about 80% as hard as you can every single run. And, you know, you're going to build and become a better runner from that. Um, and that's definitely not true. So I just want to put that out there. I think there's a very small percentage of people that can probably handle that amount of abuse every day on their legs and not get injured, not get sick, um, coming to races, not be completely fatigued out of your brain. And so, yeah, you definitely need to be careful with that and make sure you don't overtrain when you're just training to actually get stronger. Uh, with that being said, um, I just want to go and say it's not a perfect plan or a perfect idea for everyone, uh, but something that people can try and implement and see how it goes. Let me know if this worked for you. Let me know if this didn't work for you and you hated it. Um, it's gonna suck. It's gonna feel like you're running extremely slowly, but in the end, you guys are really gonna benefit from this. And I hope this guy can help, this can help you guys run a bit faster, uh, run a bit more injury free, enjoy your running a hell of a lot more because you're gonna be running slower. So you're gonna be able to chat to your friend and chat to your colleagues and chat to whoever you're running with uh, if you do run with people. And uh, yeah, that'll make the running all that much more fun and the reason why you're doing running in the first place. Um, so yeah, I'll go to towards paces. Uh, pacing is very different for every single person. So not one size fits all. There's not a certain pace you have to run to get really fast, but more heart rate. I'm very heart rate based. So I use Polar uh, running watches. Uh, this is the V8, well not the V8, sorry. <laughs> this is the Vantage V from Polar. And I've 
ever since I started been looking towards heart rate, making sure I'm running in the right heart rate zones. And that really does help me make sure that I don't run too fast or I don't run too hard. Um, and yeah, so I think uh, I started off running, as I said, when I was about six or seven years old. And I was always running four minutes a kilometer or about, I think that's about five minutes, about five and a half to six minutes a mile for, for the guys in the US and in other countries that run in miles. And that was my general pace. So I ran four times a week. Um, I ran a 10 kilometer and I ran 40 minutes a kilometer. Uh, sorry, 40, 40, four minutes a kilometer. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, that was my running every week. So 40 kilometers running, that's all I would do every week. And I'd run the same pace, four minutes a kilometer. And soon after that, I kind of started to read up and look and realize that I was actually running too fast on my easy runs. Always running at heart rate, at about 160 heart rate all the time. And that was way too hard for me. You know, I was kind of like overexerting myself every single day. And when the track workouts came or the speed workouts came, I would be tired already. And that would be a really big problem. My coach would always ask me, why are you so tired already just from doing your easy runs? And the reason I was doing that was that I was running too fast on my easy runs. And the very simple equation that I just needed to learn to run a bit slower on my easy runs, um, direction of maybe five minutes a kilometer or seven and a half uh, minutes a mile. And this would allow me to have enough energy then when I needed to do the fast runs and the speed workouts and the real key sessions uh, that I could actually hit those sessions correctly and actually benefit from my training. Um, a lot of uh, athletes or, or novice runners, as I said, go out and run a pace that they feel like um, I'm going to get a benefit from this run workout every single day. And unfortunately, running doesn't work like that. Running is not something that you, uh, you know, you go out and run hard every day and you become extremely better. You'll have, a, you'll have a quick peak and a quick bring up to the start of your running, but then you'll kind of plateau a bit and you'll battle to try and Kind of improve over the weeks and over the months and perhaps over the years. Um, so yeah, I think the one big thing is to kind of rein your slow running back in. Kind of look at your heart rate. I love to try and train in heart rate zones. Uh, and so when I'm running easy, I like to try and run at 60 to 65% um, of my maximum heart rate. Now, not everyone's going to know what their maximum heart rate is. Um, so one good thing is to try and go and do a test and see how hard you can push your heart rate. Uh, this is going to be really hard and really painful, but I think it'll be a great measure for you to actually pace your slow runs from what your maximum heart rate can be. Uh, so for me, my maximum heart rate is somewhere in the region of 205. Um, and yeah, so for me, easy run is then uh, 100 and about 110 or 115 heart rate. That's when I'm extremely fit. I'll run somewhere there at five minutes a kilometer to about 130, 140 maximum. Um, so I kind of have a range of about 20 beats per minute for my easy runs from 120 to about 140 is my easy run heart rate. And that's at about 60 to 70 ish percent of my max heart rate. Um, this really does help if I run all those runs, about 80% of my running is done at this speed, which is quite slow. Uh, five minutes a kilometer um, for a top professional runner or professional triathlete is quite slow. Uh, but there's a lot of athletes that actually do run the slow on the easy runs and do benefit from it in the long run. Although we don't really do a lot of long runs, but you get, you get what I'm saying. Um, and yeah, so I think that the thing is to slow down and to actually slow down your slow run so that your your easy run, so that you're really in control of your run. You're not kind of trying to run fast. You're just trying to keep and get the mileage done and, and go very, very easy. And this really does help to and kind of grow your aerobic capacity as a runner and as an athlete. Um, and I had to learn kind of this the hard way. Um, I joined a running squad in South Africa and uh, they, they were always running, they ran really slow because they were kind of a, a bigger group of people and a lot of different variations of pace. And so that's run really slow to make everyone very comfortable. And they were running at six minutes a kilometer. And six minutes a kilometer is, is really slow. It's half the speed of what I'll do my races at. Um, and I had to teach myself to be able to run six minutes a kilometer. So if I'm running four minutes a kilometer every run like I used to do, all of a sudden I had to try and teach myself to run six minutes a kilometer and it felt like I was almost walking. But I really felt that this really taught me a lesson on how to run slowly um, so that I have enough energy to run fast in my speed workouts. 
And uh, luckily I've got a, I come from uh, the background of running fast as a kid. So I have that natural speed. So for me to run slowly, I'm not gonna worry too much about losing my top end or losing my speed a little bit, but more to be concerned with trying to run easy on my slow runs and have the energy to run fast on my long runs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of running slowly to running fast. Um, it's definitely something that I had to learn over the years as a, as a professional athlete. And I hope you guys can take from this and, and give it a try, you know, write down in the comment section below. Let me know if this worked for you guys. Let me know if you didn't enjoy it. And let me know what, 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 what I could change in this. I mean, I'm always open to listening to other people, listening to what you guys, advice you guys might have. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your runs and uh, go out, run slow, run fast.